I think um, ours is slightly different. That's a that's a hard act to follow, by the way. Um, <laughs> so ours is ours is probably quite different. Um, I think um, Gloria, would you like to do your your poem first? I'll finish with it. You'll finish with a poem, okay? So yeah, so Gloria, I haven't heard the poem by the way, so I'm looking forward to it as well. Look, I think from my side. Um, I guess I wanted to touch on a couple of things. The one is, I suppose I sort of split it into reflections of the course and then reflections of the partnership. I don't want to make it too, too um, kind of detailed or prepared. But I think in terms of the reflection of the course, I mean, I found that I've done a lot of leadership courses over the years uh, and some of them kind of land, others don't really. But I think... This for me, really, there were a couple of sessions that really hit home. Um, and I think particularly the community building session, that for me really resonated. Um, and a couple of themes there, I think one was the um, kind of the leader, leader as the, um, um, in terms, sorry, in terms of embracing dissent. I think that is the one thing. Yeah, and, and kind of looking, turning a positive into a negative. I think that really hit home and how to kind of embrace uh, dissent, which is what we we all come up against. And then the other quite new concept for me was uh, looking at a leader, a leader as a convener as opposed to kind of an expert. And I think that, you know, those really, really hit home. I mean, I think the other thing for me from a, a kind of course perspective was it gave me a different perception and perspective on the challenges I faced, you know, in a, my organization, you know, one comes across certain challenges, but they kind of diminished when you see the challenges that the principals need to face up to, and particularly with COVID. Um, those kind of challenges were exacerbated many fold. And, um, and for me, that, that really gave a kind of sense of perspective that actually the stuff we face um, in, a, in the kind of private sector Kind of really, really aren't that insurmountable. They're, they're, they're quite manageable. So I think those those are the kind of things I took away from the, the course course content. In terms of the partnership, um, you know, I think I, I started initially completely ignorant um, about the challenges principals go through, um, and I and I I guess I, I developed um, some understanding of of those challenges. You know, we then reached a stage where, um, you know, we had kind of put in place some plans about, you know, what Gloria wanted to do for the school. She had ideas around, you know, building a, some kind of cover for the children they eat outside a lot of the time and, and some kind of protects them from the sun and rain and, and stuff like that. And then, you know, obviously COVID came and, and, and all of those plans completely went out of the window. And I, I was then actually concerned for for, for, for Gloria and the, and the school and how, how things were coping because, you know, there was a, a lot of confusion um, pretty much everywhere, as we all know. Um, and, but I always had, you know, faith that Gloria would would, would power through and, and, and she did so because I, I, I went um, to the school about a week or two ago and the place is looking beautiful. I actually took a whole lot of photos of flowers and the flower garden is, is incredible. You know, the, the kind of attendance rate of pupils and teachers has been absolutely fantastic. Um, I mean, the place looks like it's flourishing and, and, you know, and through the, the kind of the, the hard times and, and through Gloria's leadership and resilience, the, the school is really flourishing. And I think that, that to me somehow through all of this, um, you know, it's actually achieved. And, and, and I, I can't say it had a lot to do with me. You know, I'm, I'm taking no credit whatsoever. But I think, you know, the school has flourished through, through all these difficult times. And, you know, I've got huge faith that um, it's going to continue to, to, to do really well. And, and the thing that struck me is the kind of humor and humility of the staff. And... Um, you know, they really seem to have borne born this this whole kind of pandemic brilliantly. So, um, so that's just what I'd like to like to like to say. Now the poem. 
five on the, on the nose. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think Mike has just said a mouthful. It's not often that, that can be said. Also. I thought he was going to prolong until eight minutes so that I just to do my two minute poem. But before I recite a poem of which I'm not going to recite like Elena in grade four, I'll read because of my age. I can't memorize some stuff. Mm -hmm. But what I wrote is from my heart. Mm -hmm. It's the journey uh, I had with you and the journey which I wish to continue with all of you in our little corners. A very challenging journey, a journey whereby you never knew whether you will be in how train or a good strain. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I saw some schools being in how train and I said to myself, oh my God, am I going to make it? Because Gloria is this woman, when I come to a place, I take this place back to my place and I start shifting and pulling and pushing ideas and working in a big school with learners over a thousand. I have too many 66 staff members on daily basis. Mm. I had to be strong and through you, I became strong. Through this partnership, I became strong. I've learned a lot. After signing my life with Carol, she asked me a question, she said, uh, in Susutu. I said, she said, will you make it? I said, yes, uh, I'm ready. And I didn't know what I was signing up for, but it was after the first meeting when I met all of you, and I said to myself, I'll be on board. You know, when we take learners to excursions, we call them trips. They come from different backgrounds. Some are having chicken licking, some will be having sandwich, some will be having this and that. And that's what I saw about all of us. Uh, I'll envy this group and envy that group. But at the end of the day, we all enjoyed the trip. So to Mike, when we met, I said, ooh, for the first time I'm meeting a business partner. So I had a lot of expectation from business side of which I got. I remember we went to, what was that place again, Leah? Yeah? In Nazari, it was, oh, yeah. it was quiet, beautiful, rainy. And from that day onwards, I saw myself mm -hmm. as a woman who has to survive irrespective after our meetings of which I wrote down. Mm -hmm. But today, to me, it's not I'm not divorcing from Mike. <laughs> we are renewing our vows, <laughs> of which Absa and the Khabane sing WhatsApp group. And I'll bring clients, Mike, <laughs> to boost Absa. So allow me to read what Mike and I had, and what we thought would make sense to you from all of us, titled A Wonderful Relationship of Growth. Uh, babies grow, but as adults, we grow more. And at my age, I'm starting to forget some things, but through this marriage, I am growing. Hence, I'm saying a wonderful relationship of growth. It was the end of 2019, during the month of October, going about doing my daily duties, I received a very important and yet unexpected call. The voice on the other side and broke it down for me. It was about a new partnership, a new relationship that would nurture my leadership qualities called partnership. I asked myself, what is a partner? It was a partnership for possibilities. And what were those possibilities for me? Then I met the mentors who took me by the hand, showed me how to be a better leader. They gave me books to read, advices to consider. And when I go about on my daily duties, I met with my other colleagues and shared, we talked, discussed, planned, 
and even played, we discovered we all had similar and different challenges that we have to face and conquer. How grateful I am for this opportunity. Where I am empowered and motivated, I'm now a stronger person, irrespective of all the situations that I encountered as a leader. I'm not afraid to face situations. I know I will always be a lifelong learner, and yet a strong, a brave leader faced with grooming future leaders like you. Thank you, PFP. Thank you. I'll always appreciate your opportunity, your smiles, your ideas. What we shared cannot be valued in any rand dollar, but it is valued because of the opportunity that was given to the Khabani. And to APSA, Mike, thank you so much. Leah, thank you so much. You are always a phone call away. And for that, I thank you for all the lessons that you have taught us. Thank you, PFP. Mm -hmm.